Is that about how you would draw up a, a game? Because it was pretty well played. Yeah, um, we spoke on Thursday um, and said how well the players had trained. It was real joy to watch them this week, uh, the way they technically played, but also their attitude. And um, they took it out there tonight. They really, they really, really did. In tough circumstances, the rain delay is never, never easy. You're never quite sure how to handle it. Thankfully, it was only an hour. The ground staff did an unbelievable job, and that's where, honestly, these players are um, out in the field giving the, all the staff something to be proud of but they'll, they'll be the first to admit that we've got fantastic people behind the scenes and thankfully for the first time in my period here they're getting to kind of reap the benefits in terms of the team on the field so it was a it was a whole club effort today to, to get the game on and then to go and put the performance on. Sure. Uh, as far as you know Seba getting the two goals but the assist especially with Leo on the first one it was it was not just his effort. No. Again, um, we kept a lot of clean sheets at the start of the season and we were really at pains to point out how hard the attackers were working to, to stop attacks um, high up the field. And I think when we score in goals, we've got to look at our back three and our distribution, then our wing backs getting into those tough positions in the box and putting across great balls. And it was great to see um, Leo getting another goal as well, as Seba, and then also Caleb, I think, potentially his first senior goal, which is great, great, um, great moment. Was it almost uh, like a relief? Because this, I'm not going to say it was easy, it's never easy, but by comparison, was it a relatively easy night and enjoyable that way? Um, <laughs> no, no, not at all, because I think St. Louis have got great work ethic. Um, we, we've paid attention to some of the results they've had against the bigger teams on the road in the Open Cup, and we knew they wouldn't lie down, and they didn't, and they're a danger with our set pieces. And, some of the attacking players have got, but obviously you're always pleased to see the third and fourth goals going in. Um, I suppose as a coach, you're never you're never happy. It seemed as though, especially for long periods of the game, you were able to take control of the ball, make them chase, especially as the humidity began to rise after the storm. Do you think that was a contributing factor to the, to the game tonight? Because it seems as the second half went on, it became more and more stretched. Yeah, it definitely became stretched. I think when you get 2-0 up here at home, it gives you the opportunity to, to counter-attack at times and I thought we, we did that fantastically well um, and we also controlled possession at, at times but I think um, at home we always like to try and dominate on the ball and uh, I think yes, the more we have the ball, the harder they're working off it and you like to think that that's going to tell 10-20 minutes to go in the game. Um, the fitness levels that the boys have got from working in the sun day in and day out are definitely shown and it's up to us to keep them topped up. There's a team out west at the top of that, their standings, who's putting in a really impressive run of form right now. You guys have got more points than them as of now, though. Are you keeping an eye on what's going on out there? Because it certainly feels like something could be building here. Yeah, look, credit, credit to Phoenix, they're on a fantastic run of form. Totally different league, um, against totally different opposition. So I'm sure people can have the debate east against west. We're, we're in the east and it's a tough old league. And, Every week there's a different challenge um, and we're just happy with where we're at. We know that there's big room for improvement um, and people might think you're crazy but anyone that was here tonight should see as good as we were. There's still things that we can improve on and we're aiming to do that and the, guess, the best thing is we've got players on there that are wanting to do that. You know, no one's, no one's getting complacent and um, they'll enjoy tonight as they should but then they'll be ready to go Monday morning. Um. It's got to be over 18 months ago when I was on loan back in England, yeah. But I was playing centre mid then, not at the back. <laughs> um, how would you describe tonight's win? It seemed pretty comfortable. Yeah, it was a really good win. Um, we're still disappointed we conceded at the end, but obviously you've got to be happy with four goals at home against a good side. Uh, did you have any words out there on the field after you scored, knowing the momentum, of the, the momentous nature of the occasion there with your goal? Um, no, I was just I was just over the moon. I just hugged him, high me, and then we regrouped so we didn't concede again at the end. I think that'll be one you remember for a long time. Yeah, definitely. First of many. <laughs> well, yeah, did you have any thoughts that went through your head, or did you just just have a go right away? No, um, Seba did um, well to put it on a plate for me. All I had to do was put it in the corner, and then that was it. What does it mean to come over here and have the impact that you have? Had, that you've had with the Rowdies this season, not just defensively, but being able to move up, join the attack at times, and tonight getting rewarded with a goal. Well, um, it's it's 
it's easier with the players we've got around us, with Leo, I can play join in, and um, all the players on the team help us defensively and defensively, so um, just a big part of the team and we just it just fits together well. What is it that Leo does that makes life easy for you? Um, he takes up good positions so the other team can't mark both of us. I can give him the ball, he can join in and um, he's a good player. What do you think about his first assist tonight? The oh, the lob wedge. Yeah, it was a, it was a very good assist, but um, you're not surprised with Leo. He can pull stuff off like that every week. What do you think about the field tonight? It seemed like it was in pretty good shape considering the weather. Yeah, um, I love it like that. It's more like back home. It's got a bit, got a bit of zip to it. Um, it's easy to pass. I think it suited as well. When you guys, especially early in the second half, it seems like there was a concerted effort, hold possession a little bit more, knock it around, make St. Louis chase. Was was that in the was that that in the back of everyone's mind as you came out to start the second half? I think um, when you two 0 up, it's obviously a dangerous scoreline. If they get the goal, they've got momentum. So obviously we knew they was going to come out fast. So we just weathered the storm and then went again at the end. When you're getting out on the counter-attack like that, especially with the way you guys were able to kind of jailbreak a little bit at times, what's going through your mind? Are you just hoping the chance, are you hope, just hoping the chance falls your way? Yeah, well, if it falls anyone's way, I know they're going to put it in, but it fell to me, so I had to do the job for the boys. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kevin. So on the first goal, did you have no choice but to score because of the assist? Yeah, I mean, Leo, you know, I'm always looking at Leo's eyes, see where where he might put the ball, and I saw that he was going to hit it behind the goalie, and I read the play real well, and he saw me also make the run, so I think me and Leo always have a great connection. When was the last time you got a cross that came in from that high? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty amazing how Leo chipped it and put it right in my head. I mean, I couldn't do anything else but put it in. It was, you know, practically a, a goal by Leo, so... Thank you, Tim. It didn't seem like you guys had any, any issues with the field or the weather or the delay at all tonight. No, no, no the grounds crew did a great job. Um, they started very early, you know, we were here and they were already putting the, the tents out, so it, they, they did a great job, you know, letting the water out and covering the field before the game. And I mean, we had no problem with the field. Up to second in the Golden Boot race now, how much fun are you having this season? No, amazing, you know, um, uh, Neil gives me the confidence and I go perform amazing teammates that, you know, they work so hard and all I got to do is put the ball in the back of the net and, you know, so much fun this year with the guys. There's an awful lot of hype going on with Phoenix right now with their 10-game winning streak. You guys have only lost once. Though. Do you feel like you're maybe, you maybe should be a bit more in that conversation right now as, as kind of right on that level? No, I mean, you know, I think we got to stick to our game plan, game by day. Um, you know, Phoenix is a great team. They're on the other side. I mean, if we get to play them, it's going to be in the final. So I think we just got to take every game at a time. And because every game is like a final. And we saw against North Carolina that we can't step up. We can't take our foot off the gas. So, I mean, if that happens again, you know, another loss would be pretty bad because they're in our tail. Um, week, week in, week out. So, I, I mean, Phoenix is an amazing team. But right now we got to focus game, game by game. Juniors out there, do you keep an eye on their games? Stay up and watch some of those that West Coast action from time to time. Yeah, of course. You know, you always want to see what's going on in the league. Um, you know, especially you know we're in first place, and you might you might get to play somebody from the other side. And also, you know, I'm going for the Golden Bulls, so I also look at that. And you know, um, like I said, we just got to take every game at a time. What's the what's the biggest key for this week, and especially going up to New York next Friday? Because obviously, that's a very difficult place to play. Yeah, yeah, New York is very strong at their house, so, you know, they won, I think, last weekend they won 8-3 eight, eight, or eight, I don't know, but it, yeah, 8-1, it, it was, you know, they're a pretty high-scoring team, one of the highest in the league, so I think, uh, you know, if we do, if we defend like we did tonight and almost every other game, um, you know, starting from up front to, to our center backs, I think, um, you know, we'll be good and we just got to stay 100% focused for that game.